Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video and yes, it's a coach video, but it's not a purse review. This video is an accessories and shoe video. Not all my coach purchases have been bags. I do have other things that I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna start off by showing you the three pairs of coach shoes that I own. And surprisingly enough, I don't own any sneakers because growing up, those were in the coach logo sneakers my mom would buy me a few pairs here and there they kind of have a similar style now but they're a little bit different the items that i have are not sneakers i actually have the serena sando and it looks like this i'm gonna put a picture in here so you can see how the shoe goes on it's really cute i saw it on the where did i see it did i see it on the outlet I don't know if it was on the outlet or the regular retail store. I think it was a regular retail store because I got this shoe when my boyfriend got me a coach retail appointment for our five year anniversary. So I've had these for over a year now. They're really comfortable, they're really cute. They don't have a really big heel, as you can see. I guess that's why they call it a sandal, even though it has a heel. The thing that I like about these shoes is that I don't really like to wear heels. My feet hurt, I try to avoid that. I used to do that a long time ago, but now to me, comfort is more important than fashion. These are fashionable and cute. They're not gonna tire you out. They don't have these in stock anymore, but from what I remember, I think these were $100. The material on the shoe is suede. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's really soft. It also has the C logo buckle, which is really cute. And it's just a really good purchase. Next pair are these Hampton flip flops that I got I want to say like a little bit over a month ago, I went to the Coach Outlet at Citadel. I tried them on and I really liked them, so I went ahead and bought them. They're still available. I don't know if you guys can see, they're kind of starting to look a little dirty, which one of my friends warned me that was going to happen. One thing that I don't like about these, when I first got them, they were like super fluffy and then over time they became flat. So I feel like now they're kind of slippery. My feet kind of slip around, if that makes sense. Other than that, they're super cute and it's just a look. The last pair of shoes that I own are these Uli Sports Lights. And I've seen these lights for a while and I always wanted them. Not these necessarily, but a slight like this with the fussies. The same day that I got these, I tried these on and I really liked them. But I told myself that I couldn't get both of them, that I only had to choose one. I went with the Hampton flip-flop. But a few weeks went by and I still couldn't stop thinking about these. So I went ahead and I checked the website. They were still available in my size. They were cheaper than the first time that I tried these on. So I was like, all right, I have a feeling there's a sale coming, so I'm just gonna wait. And I ended up waiting a little bit more and I got them for 40%, no, I think it was, how much was it? 40% off, yeah, it was 40% off. And I believe now they're at 60% off because they have the Black Friday special going on. Next up, I own a few scarves. I specifically got for leveling up my purses. The first one that I have here, I recently washed and I feel like I kind of ruined it, which is this blue scarf. I followed this YouTube video, so I thought it was gonna come out good. The last step that I'm missing on this one is to iron it. I haven't gotten to it, but this is the scarf. This one is the skinny scarf. They have this specific style both on the Coach Outlet and the retail store. The retail store price is $95 for these. And I was able to get these scarves for sale, of course. And this one, I think I paid like $30. They no longer have this style on the outlet website, but I have a feeling that it's gonna come back. It always comes back. This next one I got, since I only had this one at first, I ended up getting this other one so I can kind of rotate them. They do get a little grimy, especially since I put them on the handle. So I decided to get another one so I can alternate while one's getting washed, the other one's on the bag. It's the same style, it's the skinny scarf with the coach logo on one side and then on the other, it has this cute little flower design all around. I decided to use the brown side for this style. But I don't know if I like this brown scarf on this bag, but I know that the blue one 
goes a lot better. It just gives it a pop and it's really cute. This other scarf I got at the regular retail store and the original price was I believe a hundred but it was on sale and it wasn't that much cheaper. It was like 60 something and it's this one. I have it on my soft tabby which I haven't reviewed yet but it's coming. But look at how cute this bag looks with the scarf. This scarf is not like the other scarves. They're not the skinny ones. This one is the diamond shaped one. And right now I saw and they have a blue one for $75. But look how cute. It just elevates the look if you're into dressing up your bags. I don't do that for all of my bags. I do it with some bags. I feel like it goes better with some than others. These next two items do dress up my bag, but they're not scarves they're keychains or bag chains this keychain i went ahead and i put on my laura carry-all it's this little cute gold hard and it has the c logo and then the back hard is just the original classic coach print i thought about putting it by the zipper but i felt like it wasn't really doing it justice so i was able to get it in the handle so I can't take this on and off. I mean, I could try to do it, but it just seems like I might damage the purse itself. So I just put it on there and it's like there for pretty much life now. <laughs> These keychains are pretty inexpensive on the Coach Outlet website. They range from like $20 to $30 depending on the style. And like I said, you catch the website on a good day. They have these pretty cheap. The next keychain is on my Rogue shoulder bag. It's gold, but it's not the shiny gold. It's kind of like a rustic vintage looking gold. This one is the original carrot logo I went ahead and clipped it to the handle and this one has a little hook that you can just open and close easily so this one I can take off and on pretty easily and move it to other bags if I wanted to but I don't usually do that I keep it in one bag I also have a pair of sunglasses these are from the outlet and I think I paid around $70 for these. Look at the detailing. That's cute. I don't think they're online anymore. The next item is the card wallet. Oh, I know they call it the coin wallet because it has a zipper. I like to put my cards and I love this guy so much because I don't have to be switching out wallets. If you have a really large wallet and you want to switch back and forth from your medium sized bags or your really small going out bags, then you have to be switching out the wallet and that just seems like such a hassle to me. It's already a hassle switching bags as it is, but I make it easy so I only have this and I can move it back and forth. The next item that I own is a makeup bag. I own it in this small size, but I actually don't have it with me so I'll show you a picture of the one that I have. They have so many and depending on the season, they'll have different patterns. I use it to store my laptop, charger, and mouse and I usually leave that at work. I believe I got that one bag for $20 or so. I can't remember, but they're pretty inexpensive and so is this one. Last but not least is this perfume. I got this one at the outlet and it just smells so good. It's sweet, it's summery, it's young, it's fresh. It's playful. I haven't been using it as much because I've been obsessing over my Chanel perfume, but I really enjoyed this one. And as you can see, the bottle shows it. Let me know down in the comment section below what accessory that I showed you today was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.